Best luggage 2019. Did we get out there and test every single suitcase and backpack on the market? Absolutely. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We're Tim and Finn and we, why are you laughing at me? We make travel videos for YouTube. We've been on the road for about three years now and that's why we know a thing or two about luggage. But the word best on the internet is just kind of like, we want to like define what makes best. So we're going to talk about luggage in three categories in today's video. The first category, we're going to talk about quality. Second category, we're going to talk about the right piece of luggage for your specific trip. And the last category, we're going to talk about how much gear are you bringing and the costs associated with, you know, checking it or carrying it on and those types of things. First up, we're going to talk about the best carry on luggage and we're going to replace Tim with that piece of luggage. It's like Wait, wait, wait. I'll be back to talk Osprey Porter. Hopefully that looked fancy in post editing because it doesn't feel fancy in real life. As most of my friends would agree, we basically live under a rock because we haven't owned a TV in five years and we're typically out of the country and we just did not know what away suitcases are, but I think that anybody who owns a television has heard of this brand. Since we didn't know about them, I'll tell you later in the video how we did come to uh, know about the away brand. One of the things that would make the luggage the best is the brand itself. And so if you go on the away luggage website, then you can find different things things that I have written down in my notes, like uh, you can try any suitcase for 100 days. You can return it for any reason. It's guaranteed for life. So essentially, it's no risk purchasing the bag to try it. Why we were ecstatic to try it in the first place was because it has a charger on it. So right here under the handle, there's a battery that pops in and out. You can charge any USB device on your suitcase right here. Oh wait, it's got other stuff too. What are all these things, Tim? They're USBs. I know, but this one two has USB. this one has two lightning bolts. That's two amps. This one has one lightning bolt. That's one amp. And this one says me. <laughs> Look at me. I'm back. So it's got two USBs. And then this is how you charge it with a micro USB. Oh, this is how you charge the battery. And I'm out. Another part of the beauty of having this is essentially now you, as part of your purchase, you now own a battery pack. So you can bring this along with you in your purse. You can bring it out on your hike. It is just a rechargeable battery that happens to have a holder inside your luggage. So think of this as its own unique, great product that you get to store right here in your luggage. Now Tim will tell you a little bit more about kind of like the backpacking lifestyle. Um, when we did our trip around the world in our first series trip, we were backpacking. The reason why now we have hard suitcases is because we're tra traveling with our little dog and she rides on the travel kennel that goes on top of our carry-on suitcase. To me, I think the biggest point that you're looking at when you're thinking about carry-on luggage is what is going to fit on which airline, right? So Away sells two different bags. It sells uh, the carry-on and then the large carry-on. So what I've done in the description below is I have the current dimensions of all the airline requirements in uh, inches down there for, uh, for all the US requirements on airlines like United, American, Southwest, Spirit. I even then did like Ryanair for Europe. So this right here is just the carry-on. It's not the large. That's about 40 liters, which is then smaller than the backpack that you're going to see with Tim. The larger carry-on then is similar more to that backpack size. The reason why I'm saying a hard-sided suitcase is the best for a carry-on is it makes you very efficient packing and you can't overstuff this. The size is what the size is. How many times have you overstuffed your soft-sided carry-on and then of course every overhead compartment is just a slightly different size and the edge of your shoe is getting caught when you're trying to shove it in the top or or, you know, just that little tiny corner of a book that's sticking out. So this is just very sleek and it's easy to put um, up in the overhead and take down when nothing's getting jammed up there. Since you will have, let's say like your laptop bag or your backpack, your personal item that's gonna go on here, that's where you're gonna keep things like your electronics and your liquids that you need to take out during security. It is inconvenient to 
open up a hard suitcase like this that opens you know flat on the ground at security so don't plan on taking anything out of here in security certainly your best option for things like your work trip weekend trips airline travel that's not necessarily adventurous if you're going out there to be a backpacker if you're uh, staying more mobile, if you're doing kind of adventure travel, you're gonna wanna say goodbye to those rolly wheels on that carry-on and go with the backpack. When we were gonna do our first round the world trip, Allison, I remember, was looking at bringing a carry-on with until I kind of like told her about, uh, you know, you're just walking down some dirty streets, things are somehow wet all the time. Like you don't want to be dragging things on wheels down the street. You want to have it on your back and it's just that much easier to get around, throw things in cabs, that sort of thing. Um, which leads us to the Osprey 46 liter Porter. I am a huge, huge fan of this backpack. We've been using these now, like looking at Finney off camera, we've had these, what, four years and have just, beat the ever-loving hell out of them and they still look as good as the day we got them. So to start off, they have the Osprey Almighty Guarantee, that's like their proprietary title for it, but it's basically workmanship and materials for your lifetime. That's how they warranty it. And so like no cost to you if something needs to be repaired. So little things about this backpack that I really like. One, it's not a top loader. I've used those before and backpacked with them. They're okay until you get experience actually using a backpack. What's the term for this? Just like, uh, like an open and face. it's an open face, a side back load, not a top load. It's just so much easier to plunk this down and get what you want rather than having a top load and have to go in that uh, Boca de bag each time to get what you want down there. There's lots of great organization in here. It's a great laptop and like office area pocket in it uh, for storage. When you're walking around with it, yeah, we keep our laptop in there, but a little packing tip when you're actually using it on carry-on or if you have to end up checking it, go ahead and put your laptop in the middle of all your clothes so it's extra protected. You'll also notice these straps on the back here. These are great when you have this thing packed already and you just want to compress it as much as possible. Big on compressing things when we're packing around here. So you can just pull it taunt and I've literally like, put my body weight behind this, getting it as tight as possible before. And then if you're like, sometimes we'll do grocery runs with backpacks in some countries on like a motorcycle or something, you can always, instead of going to this buckle here, go to the ones on the side and actually like make it even more compressed and smaller. You don't have to use the whole 46 liters. If you want something that's a little less bulky, less cumbersome, uh, easier to backpack around on, yeah, there are these side buckles there. And uh, the other great thing on this is that you can zip away the straps. So if you're checking it, if you're just gonna store it and don't want straps hanging all over, I don't know what it is with backpacks. There's always like, it seems like there's so many straps just hanging out all over the place. So you can use it. These just buckle down here. You can just use the shoulder straps. It's also got hip strap if you're actually going out backpacking and need that extra support for that comfort. Um, you would not believe the difference in comfort it makes too to have this strap up here to adjust your shoulder strap when you're standing around at the airport or just backpacking, walking around. World of a difference. And then finally, once again, this is carry-on luggage. Like sometimes every last centimeter or inch really matters. So if we're on a budget airline like Ryanair or something, sometimes just zipping those straps away, keeping it just really streamlined and everything, that makes all the difference in the world and being able to cram this thing up in the uh, overhead bin on an airplane. This is the Away Large. This is certainly a checked bag. You'll notice we've used it because it's pretty dirty and I think that is a fantastic, honest representation of what it 
looks like because I could have cleaned this for you but I did not intentionally so that you could see what it looks like this has only been on one plane this has only been on one plane ever the reason why I highlight that is because if you were to purchase like let's say this exact bag you might have the same thing happen to you well Finn uh, yeah you idiot you bought white luggage well <laughs> Uh, yeah, it looks great in pictures. Hello, but that's not necessarily the reason why it's so dirty uh, You know this this would be on any color as well Yes, even if you got this in black you would still see you know You're seeing this the scuff colors from other luggage as well So, you know any color is rubbing off on any color here. Why is that important? And why is that potentially a pro? Well, I still think that this is quote-unquote best luggage because the whole point is what this is is it's protecting your stuff that's inside that's the entire reason for this luggage look at how beat up this all gets when it goes off into the abyss of you know whatever happens to it behind the little rolly thing and um it's not your stuff um so you really want good luggage to protect your gear and that's what a hard-sided suitcase uh, is going to do for you so why a way of the hard-sided suitcases? Well, I told you earlier I was gonna let you know how I found a way since we live under a rock and hadn't seen any of the advertising. Several, almost all airlines I can think of have a size restriction for checked luggage. There, of course, is a 50 pound weight limit before you're overcharged. So that, that's a separate conversation we're gonna have later. But when you actually talk about the size, what airlines are measuring is the linear inches. So they're measuring the height times the width times the depth. That would be the linear uh, inches uh, added up, not multiplied. And so you're getting 62 linear inches. It took me hours looking online um, when we were adjusting from our RV trip across North America to to moving down here in Mexico. Obviously we wanna maximize the 62 linear inches that we're given, right? So you would just think that luggage companies would make their suitcases 62 linear inches, right? So wrong. I couldn't believe how many were like 64.5 inches. I'm like, well, that's hardly bigger. So it's not like you can bring so much more stuff when you're getting charged a hundred more dollars to bring that oversized bag. Or it was like, 54 inches and I'm like 54 that's too big to carry on and you're leaving so much room on the table to, to bring so that's where away came into play for us is it was just the right size for an airline I mean it was just it was the most simple idea that you would just think that everybody would make and they do not when you're considering checked luggage now I know uh, especially on our channel, we're always advocating for, you know, carry on friendly, carry on friendly. You know, we make our compression cubes and all this travel gear to, to be as minimal as possible. The game's changing a little bit, isn't it? You've, you're seeing on airlines like United, that are now charging you for carry on bags. So there is a little bit more strategy now of, is it worth paying $25 to carry on a bag if it's only 30 or $35 to bring so much more gear? Now, if you're gonna be staying at four different hotels on your trip, you're not gonna to wanna to haul all of this around, you know, something like the other two bags are more appropriate. But if you're just getting on one flight and going to one hotel room, you might enjoy having so much more space for a very small incremental uh, change in price. One quick last note on check bags really is the weight. I'll link below a little, what are those things called? The like weigher thing? There is a mobile luggage scale you can get on Amazon for pretty inexpensive. I'll link it below to test the weight because uh, I incorrectly tested the weight thinking I had it right while trying to like weigh myself and then get off and then like hold our luggage on the you know bathroom scale and like look over my toes and try to see and, and I was wrong. That's right. Even two experienced travelers can totally get it wrong and get hit with that hundred dollar surcharge at the airport and you gotta get to your plane, so you're kind of paying. Okay, so we had to pay a hundred extra dollars, and because it was like 62 pounds and it should be 50 pounds, and we didn't have enough space elsewhere with like the dog and all those other things to have 12 extra pounds somewhere. And even the lady at the check-in counter was like, "What are you having here? Books?" I was able to pack so many clothes in here using our compression cubes to take the air out where you can pack more clothes that we didn't have any liquids. We didn't have any shoes. We had nothing in here except clothes. And I shoved 62 pounds of 
cotton <laughs> in this bag. We can fit about two to three six piece compression cube sets in the large. We can fit one six piece compression cube set in the Osprey Porter 46 liter backpack. That's essentially what we made that set for is to be the ideal carry on size. And because our smaller away luggage is the smaller of the two carry ons, that one takes maybe about five filled compression cubes in there. So that kind of gives you an idea if you own those, how much stuff you can pack in each one of these bags. So there was more than you ever want to know about luggage, <laughs> right? And when you talk about best, it's just going to be the best for your trip. So really think about okay. what carrying this stuff around with you is going to look like and then make the right um, choice for you. Because I know we were getting a lot of questions on Instagram when it was like, oh, you guys changed from backpacks to hard you know, carry on suitcases. So then it was like, we're going to New Zealand. Like, should we get those suitcases? And it was like, you know, we're going to one location staying for two months with a dog. That's why, you know, we made that that choice. So just make sure you're getting the right thing for your trip. And that's why it's going to be the best for you. Absolutely. We're still changing what we're doing when we do our little Vietnam Asia trip for a month coming up here we're gonna be living That's out an announcement on YouTube you know that if you're following us on, on Instagram <laughs> but we are going back to Vietnam in May, May 2019 and, June, yeah. and a lot more places a lot more yeah, places. we're gonna be highly mobile so we're gonna be in backpacks and be backpackers again Pepper's staying at my parents. We're gonna be really sad to miss her for five weeks in Asia, but big thanks to my parents who are gonna be doing that for us. And other- She promised she'd look at the stars every night and we'd look at the same ones. Other fun announcements. Oh, other fun announcements is Tim cut his hair since you guys have seen <laughs> us. <laughs> when I just, that's gonna be like the first comment below. My mom's happiest. Um, yeah, so this is our Airbnb here in Mexico for February. We're gonna go back to the vlogs which are you know a few weeks behind so you'll you'll see uh tim back with long hair on on sunday for uh trip mexico if this was the first video and you found us here feel free to subscribe because then you can come along with our adventures on us uh, with us on us on sunday and uh it's gonna get it's gonna be nonsense and we are moving like crazy these next we're couple We're moving months. like crazy and I feel like we're caring less what how we do on camera and it's just, it's getting a little I feel bit like I'm sillier. <laughs> it's just yeah. getting a little bit silly. Um, happy travels, hope you find the best luggage for you. Bye guys.